Plin. Ian Plin. And Morocco at 5 to 2. And there was a story, of course, in the Portuguese press saying that Ronaldo threatened to go home. When he realised that he wasn't in the starting 11, uh, they released this statement saying the, um, the FBF clarifies that at no time did the captain of the national team, Cristiano Ronaldo, threaten to leave the national team at any stage in Qatar. The level of commitment of Portugal's most capped international player was once again demonstrated in the victory against Switzerland. Uh, this is what Ronaldo said on Instagram. Uh, a group too close to be broken by outside forces. A nation too brave to let itself be frightened by any adversary. A team in the truest sense of the word which will fight for the dream until the end. Believe with us. Strength, Portugal. Penned by not Mr. Well, Ronaldo. Yes, I, don't, mm. I, I, by, don't, I don't think that was it. Penned was by it. the PR department who said, let's get ahead of this story. Frank, how bonkers is this, this, this whole story, which of course has developed over the last 48 hours. Ramos, absolutely brilliant. We are not even going to discuss whether or not Ronaldo should start because he know that he won't now in that quarterfinal against Morocco. It's a story that I don't think many saw taking these turns, but it's been fascinating to watch play out. The thing is, uh, you know, uh, as, as Craig just mentioned, you know, I don't believe any word of just Ronaldo, uh, what we saw, the comment of Ronaldo. The thing is, yeah, everybody was stunned when they, 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 they saw that Ronaldo wasn't playing. But after the game, you realize that there was a very good choice from Santos. But what we heard from Santos, he was very, very angry at Ronaldo when he came out the game before uh, because he didn't want to go out. And uh, that's maybe the punition that uh, Santos or, or the, what he wanted to show and, uh, to, 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 uh, to uh, Ronaldo that he's the man who decides. Um, he said after that that he was big friend, that we have all the political you know, comments and words about him because everybody wants to make sure that everything, everything's going to work in a, in a perfect world. But we all know what the truth is, is that uh, Cristiano Ronaldo didn't like to get out, so he was punished by the coach. And the story, or the history, just said that the manager made the right choice because Ramos has been absolutely fantastic. Mm. And that's a big turn, big turn on the uh, Portugal history uh, in that World Cup. But I don't think he... I, I get the point from the game against South Korea. Uh, I think it was. Uh, but I, he wasn't not playing because he had a bit of a hump at coming off. He wasn't playing because... Santos's job's on the line, the reputation, he wanted something different. So he's not playing because he's not been good enough. But I think it just sums him up in a nutshell that the game against South Korea, which Santos made changes for, they'd already qualified. Yeah. I mean, come on. When, and that's telling you it's about him. It's about goals for his country. It's about records rather than the bigger picture. Uh, Don, it really is quite, I think, really quite a couple of months of Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, it's been bonkers, isn't it? I mean, like the guy said, you don't know what's going to come next. Um, it, it's difficult to read him because you know it's about him. And when you've got that ego and when you are one of the world's best, you want to play every single minute. Uh, no one's really mentioning the fact that, you know, it would have been his fifth game in about sort of 14 days. So that might have been a factor why he didn't play. Got no idea. But listen, I think if you asked him, you know, and you said to him, listen, you're not going to play too many minutes from now to the end of the World Cup, but you win the World Cup, would you sign up for that? Absolutely, he would. 100% he would want to sign up for winning the World Cup. And if it's not playing too many minutes, then so be it. He can't get his head around it. And that's where he's struggling. Um, and, it's, and it's painful to watch. It's embarrassing to watch sometimes. It's awful to watch because you're seeing a player that's a little bit in decline. And what you're seeing as well is you're seeing the Bruno Fernandes factor when he's not playing for Man United. Bruno Fernandes plays well. He didn't play in the last game and João Felix had the game of the tournament for him. And he's an unbelievable player. So maybe these young kids and maybe one or two players for Portugal are seeing Ronaldo not in the starting eleven, And they can actually relax a little bit. And it's helping them, I think. Was I the only one that couldn't have cared less if he came on the other night or not? I mean, the commentators kept talking about it. Oh, when's he going to come on? Right. Oh, when's he gonna... It's like, do you know what it is now, almost? It's like, it's like somebody coming on the end of a testimonial for 10 mm. minutes. All right, he might come on for 10 minutes in the World Cup final if he gets there and scores. <laughs> That's a different kettle of fish. But the other night, it was like... Well, is he coming on? Was he not? I mean, like, people, who cares? The job's done. Yeah, yeah, most yeah, definitely. And Craig, from a, for... well, Craig, I'm sorry, but you cannot deny the fact that the guy for like 17 years, you know, 
uh, just showed that he was one of the best strikers in the world, if he's not the best, you know, scoring so many goals, 800 goals. You know, we're comparing with Ronaldo, uh, the, the Ronaldo uh, from Brazil, who scored half of the goal that he scored. So, of course, you have to emphasize the fact that he doesn't play because he's been the star of the show for, for like 17 years. So, if you don't talk about it, you're out of the context, and uh, and then you have to talk about it. I think. Yeah, but I didn't say we weren't talking about it. It was the talk, it was a talking point that he didn't play. Although I didn't think it was the huge uh, shock, to be honest, because uh, I think he's been desperate not to play him, a bit like Eric Ten Hag. But uh, it was at the end of the game. It was almost like everybody was like, "Do you know what? Can, can we just can can everybody just move on from him? <laughs> him having a ten-minute cameo when the game's done." And Switzerland are all over the parish. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.